Hello guys and welcome back to my Logic Pro X tutorials. On this tutorial I like to talk about auxiliary inputs. Uh, as you may have noticed, as noticed uh, Logic, uh, when you start a session from a template, even if it's uh, an MP template, when you, when you insert a new track or create a new track, Logic automatically creates one or two or more instances of uh, auxiliary channels, or channel, auxiliary uh, tracks. Uh, with effects where you can send your signal. So, um, but I'm going to start from zero. Here I just have an audio track with nothing. And um, on my mixer, the only thing I can see is my audio track uh, and my main out. The way to do this is very really simple. You come here to your mixer window where it says sense. Uh, you put your mouse over it and two arrows will appear, stays grayer. Click on it bus and you choose any bus could be bus one all right automatically uh, logic will create the aux track for you in this case we want to add a reverb to this guitar so i'll call it reverb or maybe um guitar verb okay now all i have to do is come here to the audio effects on the auxiliary track and insert a reverb. So I'm going to choose here the Space Design Reverb. I'm going to stick with the presets around here like uh, Medium Spaces, Room, let me check out uh, Large Spaces probably. Um, I stick with the big plate. Okay, um, I haven't got many presets here because as I said in a previous video, if you want to have all, you have to come here and download additional content, but it's very, it's a very large amount of stuff, like 30, by, 30 gigabytes. Okay, so it's ready, I can close this. And now I'm gonna play my guitar again. No reverb yet, because uh, bus one here, there's a little wheel here, a circle, I mean. And uh, if you click and hold and drag, you start increasing the signal you want to send to your reverb. So if I put this on 0 dBs, there will be a lot of reverb probably. So let's try that. Okay, and if you want to add more effects to the, um, to the guitar signal, um, you can come here and another bus bus 2 and there's another auxiliary track in this case I'm going to call it um, guitar delay so I will insert here some sort of delay could be a tape delay okay let's uh, uh, disengage here the first send so we can hear better the second one so I increase the, the send here let's see the sound Of course, you can mess around here with the settings and just a factory default. So this is how it goes. Um, I advise you, advise you to um, use your uh, auxiliary tracks to to put your um, atmosphere effects. I mean, like reverb, chorus, tape, tape delay, delay stuff like that. And you reserve the channel where the guitar is to insert other type of uh, effects like compression, EQ, stuff like that. It goes better on the CPU, and it's better to take control of your session when you can, uh, where you can uh, uh, assign multiple tracks to just one. Instead of using, like, imagine you have ten guitars, instead of using uh, ten reverbs, uh, you can use just one and uh, route all those reverbs to the same auxiliary track. Uh, so this is very simple. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you want more, subscribe. And uh, any questions, leave me a comment. Cheers.